Oregon handled their first ever game as an AP number one team pretty well Thursday night against UCLA. LaMichael James revved up the Heisman campaign, just ripped through the Bruins. They put 60 on them. 60. Yeah, this offense is, is right now really clicking, and Darren Thomas taking ownership, making decisions, executing, and they even got the lead course of play <laughs> top left It's there. a dive. Dive play. <laughs> the score? Better be three yards in a cloud of dust play, right? Oh, Remini all said that poor duck is getting oh, a workout. My favorite. He is doing more and more push-ups, but still, when you look at it, we've done 10,000 and computer simulations and based on the opponents ahead this is the percentage chance of all these undefeated teams remaining undefeated Boise State a 96 percent chance uh, and here's why they're pulling <laughs> Missouri Missouri won. down there a 1.6 percent oh. chance Ooh. say the computers that doesn't even include the potential Big 12 championship game oh, for LSU or Auburn or Oklahoma State or Missouri or Oklahoma 1.6 percent chance so Oregon the second most likely team to remain undefeated, but still, according to the computers, less than 50-50. We welcome in Chip Kelly now, who joins us. Showdown with USC, a week from today at the Coliseum. But what do you think, Chip? You said it's no different for your team playing as a number one team. The computers don't seem to like the Ducks much, but what about it? Less than 50-50 remaining undefeated. I guess that means the computers respect the Pac-10. Yeah, they must, but I, I thought there was going to be no math this morning, so I'm confused with all this data. <laughs> <laughs> well, your team does have the showdown against USC. We were there a year ago, 613 yards. You, you actually took mercy on USC, took a knee when you could have had half a hundred. Are you here to tell us that this game is going to be a, a significant challenge for Oregon? Because game day might go there, but we're not going to go there if you don't think USC still represents a challenge for Oregon. What do you think? <laughs> Now, the USC represents a huge challenge. Um, offensively, they're probably the best offense we'll see. I think Matt Barkley's one of the top quarterbacks in this country. Um, they've got a slew of running backs, an outstanding crew of receivers. Their defense played really, really well last week against Cal. Um, it was 42 to nothing against Cal at half. So USC is for real. You just say you prepare like any other and you ignore the pressure of the BCS chase, but Chip, so many teams in that position have fallen prey in recent years. It was Missouri in 2007, which flopped when they had a chance. Can you continue to keep your guys focused and ignore what's swirling around them? Is that realistic? Yeah, that's the challenge, and that's the fun part of this, and we'll see if we can do it. And It's not easy. You know, it's, it's a hard, real deal for everybody, but um, our guys have done well in our approach which is win the day and take care of just what you can take care of and um, we'll see how it goes but I, I like our mindset right now. Chip will you continue to call the Corso play the dive play those charts have the wacky symbols you got Lee's face there you got Carl Spackler's face from from Caddyshack what's the origin of the wacky symbols on the cards? Uh, it's just a way to play faster you know one of those if you go to McDonald's and order a number two, it's got your, your what you want to drink, fries, everything with just one word. So one picture equals one play. Uh, we don't use the boards all the time. About 21% of our offense, we look at the boards. The other times you're looking at the signalers. But I can tell you that Coach Corso's play was called Thursday night, and we scored. Yeah, yeah. That. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Chip, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Oregon <laughs> and USC, a collision in the Coliseum week from today. You know, week one of the BCS standing guys, there's a lot of disagreement between the pollsters in that left column. If you can see those numbers there. And the computer average on the right. Notice the discrepancy. I mean, we, we don't even have Missouri on there, but there's a huge gap between Missouri. I mean, 16 poll average. Computers love Missouri. How about Oregon at eight with the computers? Yeah. Have you watched Oregon? That's, that's the computers don't watch football. Right. Uh, Oregon yeah. eight? Yeah. Unbelievable. Remember